Hey there, I'm Jocelyn from Nature Wonder Hub, and today we're going to be exploring a little bit of juggling. Does anyone know what juggling is? Well, let me show you. So, I have three balls here. All juggling is, is throwing them up in the air and catching them again. So, we're going to go through some basics. So first, you're going to need up to three items about the size of the palm of your hand or your child's hand. You just want it to fit nicely in the palm. You, I have some actual juggling balls that are accessible to teachers. You can also use hacky sacks, though try and find ones that are a little on the heavier side. You can make your own out of balloons and something like rice or sand. You can really use just about anything. Um, you just you don't want it to be too bouncy. So when it drops, you don't want it bouncing everywhere. Um, and often, if they're bouncy, that means they're too light as well. You do want a little bit of weight to them. Um, these are filled with some kind of grain, I believe, so they have a little bit of weight to them. Um, I taught myself how to juggle when I was a kid using golf balls. It worked for me. I don't recommend using golf balls. They're hard and they're heavy, and if they hit, if you accidentally go too hard, too high, and you hit yourself on your head, it's gonna hurt a little. Plus, if you hit something in the in the room, I don't think it's, I don't think your parents are gonna be very appreciative of it. So yeah, something about the size of the palm of your hand. You'll want up to three of them for this, and maybe more if you get really good at it. But for now, let's begin. So for this first step, we're going to start with one, one ball, or one item, whatever you have. And we're just going to practice throwing it up and catching it, throwing it up and catching it. And notice how I'm throwing it up to one side and catching it in the other hand and up to the other side, catching it in the other hand. So you want to hit a little bit above your head, but about shoulder width apart. So aim for these, where my fingers are, pretend there's two dots there. Aim for those dots, that was way too high. Aim for those dots, try and keep it just in front of you, and try to keep it in as close of a straight well, up and down line in front of you as you can. I'm still learning, I'm not perfect. It takes lots and lots of practice to get really good at it, but that's okay. Because if you drop the ball, oops, it's not a problem. Everyone drops the ball, even the professionals. So I just want you to take one ball one hacky sack or one balloon or one item and just practice throwing it back and forth back and forth back and forth until you're really comfortable with that and you can do this for five minutes you can do this for five days you can do this for five weeks if you want just do it as much as you need to feel comfortable with it and then once you're comfortable with it then we'll add two balls so now this is where it's gonna get a little trickier so first we need to actually get both balls in the air so when i when you're juggling normally you'll throw one up but then right as this one starts coming down you'll throw the other one up just underneath it so if i throw this one up i'm gonna throw that one there and then catch it so up throw catch catch throw throw catch catch throw throw catch catch and you want to try and keep some kind of a rhythm like that. You don't want to go like, throw, throw, catch, catch. You want to go like, throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. You want to keep it so there's a pattern. It's an easy pattern to follow. Because once you get more than two things, it gets a lot more complicated. So same thing, practice just doing this. And if you just do it, like throw, throw, catch, catch, and you just do that and catch it and then do it again, that's okay. You don't have to do the back and forth anything yet. That's That comes in time. Don't worry about any of that. Just practice doing this. And when you get really good at doing it with your dominant hand, try doing it, start, try starting it with your non-dominant hand. So because I'm right-handed, I tend to start with my right hand. That's just, that's just what I'm comfortable with. I start with the right hand. But because I'm not left-handed, I'm going to try starting with my left hand. So now that we've done one ball and we've done two balls, let's do three balls. 
So for three balls, again, I'm right-handed, so I have two balls in my right hand. I have one ball in my left hand. So for your the hand that has two balls in it, got one hand, one ball to be just in your palm with these two fingers holding it against the bottom of your thumb, and then your other three, your two fingers and your thumb are going to hold the second ball. And then when you throw it out, you're gonna throw one ball first and hold the other one in your hand, but once you throw that first ball, your other hand, other ball is going to just roll up into that position. So it's gonna be up, roll. And again, don't worry if you drop things. Just pick it up and go again. Not a problem. So for this, like with the two balls where it was toss, toss, catch, catch, and we're throwing it underneath it just before the first one starts coming down, or just as the first one starts coming down, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do three balls this time. So we're gonna go up, 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 up. And we're just gonna go back and forth. And if your balls go all over the place, that's okay. Again, it comes with practice to get it to stay roughly in front of you. Just like that. So up, up, up. And if you want, you can just do that. Just try getting all three balls into the air and then catching them. Just practice that a few times. And if you can't quite catch two in one hand, that's okay too. That's another, another challenge. But when you're actually juggling, all you really need to be able to do is catch one ball. You're only gonna have two balls at the start. And at the end, if you actually catch all three balls at the end, or you can just let all three balls drop to the ground and make it fun. <laughs> like, uh-oh. <laughs> so, that's our juggling thing. Thanks for joining me for our intro to juggling. And for more programs like this and others, follow us here or at wonderhub.ca. Bye for now.